that when you choose to work through those things, they actually, you know, I feel like now that I've worked through a lot of that stuff, you and I are closer than ever. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Justin and Haley Bieber just dropped the first episode of their 12-part Facebook Watch series, The Biebers on Watch. From their past breakup to tying the knot, they're opening up like never before. There's a lot of things that I need to work on. Mm -hmm. um, forgiveness things, jealousy things, um, insecurities that I needed to, that I didn't even realize I had until I chose to spend my life with you. The whole thing was filmed by Justin and Haley themselves. The two are quarantining in Toronto, where Justin grew up. Now we're breaking down the seven biggest bombshells from their Lakeside Lovers Chat. Starting with this. He's a good kid, he's a good heart, and uh, I love him. Haley gets real about the heartbreak she felt when they broke up back in 2016. She explained why she didn't rush to be in another relationship immediately after. I really let myself feel the emotions that I was feeling. You know, it took a lot of, it, it feels like grieving. You feel like you lose. It is grieving, actually. It doesn't feel like grieving. It is grieving when you, you, you lose feel like you, you lose someone loved. that you really, really love and care about. And even though she was going through it, she just hoped one day they'd be able to be friends. I just remember I was like, I, I, I cared about you so much that I was like, it doesn't even matter to me if he's in my life in like a romantic way. I just like care about him so much that I want him to, like I want us to be in each other's lives and that be okay. In the end, Haley said the breakup was actually one of the best things that ever happened to them. Why? Well, she says she did a lot of work on herself and by the time they got back together, things were different in a good way. I had experienced other people where I was just like, yeah, I'm cool if I never like speak to another human again, like right. another guy again. It didn't matter to me. After their split, Justin briefly got back together with his ex, Selena Gomez. And so the moms you replace us like it was easy. Yeah, Haley kind of sort of talked about that too. People will say to me like before comment and like on the internet and stuff well, he did this, or he was with this person, or that person, or whatever, and it's just like, you have to step into a security, especially as a wife, to be like, I'm aware of everything you're saying. I think that that's where forgiveness is the biggest thing. During their time apart, Haley says that their mutual friends kept her in the loop on how he was doing. You know, they would tell me that you, you know, were working really working on yourself and you were doing really well and they had been you know, really impressed by how you were living your life and you know you were trying to keep to yourself and you know not you weren't like you weren't on any like if I am allowed to say this you weren't on any and while the couple has never really gone into details of what prompted that split, <laughs> Haley previously told Jimmy Fallon that it was that moment on The Tonight Show in 2018 that helped the couple turn things back on. The next morning, after the interview had aired, I got a certain phone call from a certain someone and it was a little like, hey, how are you? I saw you on Jimmy Fallon last night. You were looking really good. I loved that trick that you did. I had no idea that you can do that. It was so cool. Cut to, I'm now married to that certain someone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we blame him? That really was an epic party trick. And I have the sickest chick in the game. She's so awesome. Anyway, that late night appearance was in May 2018. In July, they confirmed they were engaged on Instagram, and in September, they tied the knot in a New York City courthouse. Since I was young, I always like wanted to be married. I always wanted a family. That was always high on my list. But Justin and Haley said they put in the work to get their relationship on track. It takes a lot of work, wouldn't you say? Like we, yeah, absolutely. We've had to work hard on our relationship and I think that that pays off in a way where you just become so connected to each other mm -hmm. and so close and so just solid with each other and I mean obviously you're my best friend mm -hmm. so I think that's like the biggest payoff is you have a best friend that you get to just do
do everything with. Mm. These two really do seem like besties, and I love it. Mm. It's just really fun to um, just experience new things with you, travel with you. Yeah, Justin gives Haley a big shout out for standing by him when he was going through it. You make a covenant before God to um, love that person for better, for worse, um, in sickness and in health. Um, which is something that you've done amazing for me. Um, you were there when I was really struggling and um, in this season where I feel like I'm the best place I've ever been, you and I are the closest we've ever been. The couple's new series comes after Justin's docu-series, Justin Bieber Seasons, which launched in January, chronicling the singer's life and making of his latest album, Changes back in the studio, cutting the song, keep on forgiving me. This one over here, Haley, she just, every time I do something stupid, she forgives me, so there's that. E.T. Yeah. E. sat down with the docu-series director, Michael D. Ratner, in February. He opened up about Justin's decision to share his life with the world. I'll tell you one line that he said to me that has stuck with me forever, was we watched episode five together and he was just staring at it and he's like, this is tough. And he said, there's power in weakness. And I thought when he said that, you know, he, he said the very reasons why it's sometimes uncomfortable for me to watch that is the reasons I want it out there. 